friends welcome back to the vlog we're just gonna ignore how long it's been since the last time i vlogged <laughs> i just felt called to come back i'm feeling called to come back to a lot of things my podcast just came back today is a win no, no no i'm sorry it's a thursday morning i just slept in a little bit and i'm about to get ready for group coaching in dream away dream away is my community subscription community with like a vault of a ton of resources we do live events and we're gonna do a ton of tapping during group coaching it's in the higher self tier and it's one of my favorite things to do so it's just like cozy come together share what's bothering you tap it out all together i always feel so freaking good after I got tons of basics from this amazing place called Garage when I was in Providence this weekend um, and Abercrombie. They have all these new, they're so soft, all these basics. Anyways, I was laying them out because I took a little Instagram story picture of everything, but I need to hang it all up. I'm about to open up my newly baby. It's a cute t-shirt. I think it's from Free People. I don't know why I like this so much. There's a little horse and it says found. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a spiritual meeting. The sleeves are cute. Oh my gosh, I just realized. Hey, Yoss, behind me, I have it unpacked from this weekend. Are you kidding me? That looks horrible. Okay, I just filmed a really quick and easy TikTok. I've been trying to be more like free in how I post and just like if I have an idea, just do it right then. I've really just been exploring that freedom. Part of that's been through um, doing the artist's way. No, the book's not in here. Anyways, it's basically this like 16 week creativity program. I'm in week one. So I'll let you guys know as I go. But what I was doing this morning that I vlogged was morning pages where you write three pages, just like stream of consciousness. And it's helped me so much to like clear out the muck just like put all my thoughts down on paper. It just feels like I've hit like this level of radical self-honesty. I wanted to actually make our little spiritual vlog message because we're gonna get back to that on building a sense of like safety and acceptance within yourself, which is literally what one of the pages of the morning pages journal says. And I think it's from the book. So I did not come up with this. <laughs> when we're able to be like radically honest with ourselves to accept ourselves completely, including everything, like even the things that we don't have figured out, even the things that we're struggling with, it just makes life feel easier because it's like then you're on your own team. I don't even know if that's necessarily spiritual advice, but I think it can all relate. We're gonna have people in the waiting room. We're gonna have people. Sure, let's do it. From it, but it's like so I'll borrow an Abraham Hicks philosophy and and say that we see people doing things that we don't want or living out experiences that we don't want. It's a really powerful moment of clarity for us to decide what we do want as the opposite of that. But let's tap some good stuff in around that. I feel like you just told my whole life story. Whoa. That was so good. I feel like I always feel so much better after doing a ton of tapping. We covered so many good topics. And I've been doing intermittent fasting, so I've just been drinking black coffee all morning. I try to make it to like... Um, I mean, it depends what time I stop eating the night before around 11 a.m. And it's done wonders for my focus And it's something that was recommended to me by a nurse practitioner when I got my hormones checked time to now make breakfast I have been loving just making scrambled eggs bacon and this really delicious toast gluten-free char bread Sourdough it tastes unreal so good. So let's whip up this air fryer and make, make an easy breakfast while I eat my breakfast. It's like my little 20 minutes of bliss in the morning. Fall routine. How is he? He's just fucking I hate my life. The only good thing about COVID, he wants to replace me as well as everything. I'm sure literally recording every single thing I do today. <laughs> 
wow, we're back to vlogging, baby. But one of my favorite things in the entire world to do is after a day that I spend at the studio, I love to listen to the work that I did the day before. And I've been working on two different songs. It's been a little interesting because like, I really love both songs. And usually there's a very clear like, this one should be my next single, this one feels right. And I can't decide. I love them both. They're called Seasons and then Rain Comes Down. I'm super proud of them. I'm making an espresso, that's why I'm like in this corner. But I wrote Seasons on a whim like two weeks ago at the piano one night and it was sensation. Oh, oh. <laughs> as I'm saying this, it's saying my espresso thing is full. Oops, nothing we can't handle. But yeah, I wrote it at the piano one night. Really just like wrote down the notes, the lyrics as they came to me and it flowed through me so quickly. I had the first verse come to me first and I was so frustrated because I couldn't figure out the chorus and I was like, I literally think this is one of the best first verses I've ever written. So it was so frustrating. I just took a quick shower and then I was like, mm, let me like revisit and try because for me, I don't wanna like strategize a chorus or anything that I'm writing. It's like, it either comes to me or it doesn't. It feels very spiritual. It just literally f came, it came to me. Anyways, yesterday, I just told you all this about seasons. Yesterday, Ethan and I worked on Rain Comes Down and the outro of it to make it super big and euphoric. So I'm just gonna make an espresso and listen to it with my nice headphones and just soak in it. It's so much fun, it's so special, and I can't wait to share these songs with you guys soon. Now that is a frothy Nespresso. I really am just talking so much today. I think it proves how much I've missed you. I'm touching up my makeup for a 1.30 p.m. meeting. On the meeting is actually for something exciting that I will share when the time when the time is right. It's been like probably one of the biggest exciting wins of the year. And today's the first meeting to kick it off. So anyways, aside from that, I just did an energy healing with a woman named Catherine who I met when I went to the Abraham Hicks workshop. And I just love her so much. I'm gonna have her come on the podcast. But she guided me to meet my highest self. Good times. <laughs> casual, casual Thursday activity. Where is my concealer? Okay, why it was on the dining room table is absolutely beyond me, but alas. Something that my highest self was saying, and I'll just like keep it short, was how the greatest thing that you can ever do to call in everything you need for the unfolding of what you want in your dream is to just be in a place of so much joy and play. And we think about joy and play, and those are emotions that can only be experienced in the present moment. Like if we're thinking about the past, then there's nostalgia, there might be regret, guilt, sadness, like wishing we could go back and get it, like wistfulness. So just some emotions that come to mind. And when we think about the future, a lot of times it's like wanting or anxiety or worry. And so joy and play can really only be here in the now. After that session, I opened up Instagram and my friend Sam, Simplifying Sam, who you guys have to follow, she's so good. She's got a podcast called Spiraling Higher that I actually went on and she's gonna come on my podcast soon. So a lot of like upcoming podcast guests, but she posted this really great video about how when we are manifesting something, a lot of times we're in this energy of like, I'm almost there, I'm chasing after it. And then it's actually just pushing the goalpost further and further and further away. Cause if you're always in this energy of like, I'm not there yet, I'm not there yet. Like you can't be in the energy of I'm not there yet and be in the energy of, okay, I'm here now <laughs> at the same time. They're completely opposite energies. It's really illuminated to me. Like it sounds so cute and like a home goods thing. 
<laughs> to say, be in the now and like everything is about the present, but everything seriously is about the present. And it just gave me this sense of like relief almost of like, wow, okay, if everything really is in the present and that's just that, then all I have to do is enjoy the present as much as possible and not think about the outcomes or worry about the outcomes because my joy and my play is like the greatest possible catalyst for the best possible outcomes for me, like even beyond what my logical mind could comprehend. <laughs> could comprehend? Could comprehend. Or comprehend, men's like fix or something. So I just love that. So maybe that's another little spiritual message of this vlog. Okay, I'm gonna make another coffee because I'm a crazy espresso fiend and then get on for this call. It's so fun to be vlogging again. I just feel like I'm hanging out with you guys all day. What a busy day. My days are actually not usually like quite this busy. I just finished up two more calls. I had a taco in between calls. How's my lunchy lunch? And I am just feeling like I need to get out of the house. Like I've just been, I'm still in sweatpants. I don't even match my shirt. And it's been good. It's been like a nice cozy day, but I think if I get out of the house and just get some things done on my laptop at like a coffee shop, specifically Blink Street, it'll just feel good to like switch up the energy. You know when like the energy of the room around you kind of gets stagnant? That's kind of how I'm feeling. I've already been caffeinating a lot, so I'm gonna have to get us small, but let's get ready to go. This might actually be a really quick little adventure because I just realized most Blink Streets close at 4.30 or 5 and it's almost four. But I don't wanna not go, I'm excited about this. So I'm gonna follow my urges and just go ahead and go. Open it. Side by side we sway there in all the colors Some still is not something's about not right come on little buddy okay i'm back the coffee shop was great i honestly recommend as a productivity hack to just go to a coffee shop that's about to close and just get a ton of work done i felt like i got so much done so quickly and a big shock i'm actually editing today's vlog so far i haven't edited in so long and i just feel like i loved editing back when I first started vlogging back in 2020. I actually had an editor, but then sometimes I would like teach myself to edit and I got into like a really good groove with it. And I feel like it just gets me into a good like headspace almost, kind of like productive, busy work in a flow. So this will be fun. Plus I wanna see how much I vlog today because I wanna vlog over the next two days, but I don't want this to be the longest vlog of all time. Maybe that's what you want, but <laughs> like I'm back with a one hour vlog. And why am I still stuck with this woman? should see it through and change my point of view I try to catch it when the moment's over I try to fill up though it's pouring over cause I have reached a point where nothing matters and I'm signing off this open Good morning, my friend. I began the morning tapping with Ashley, one of my great friends, and she's a team member too. We did like this really amazing slingshot session called Massive Wealth, which I've done multiple times before, but it really, gosh, every time you do that work, it just like opens up deeper layers and levels. And I found something juicy that I really needed to clear. Anyways, I'm heading to the gym. Look how cute this little aloe sports bra is. I'm just gonna do 12, 3.30. Got my headphones, probably listening to my songs. Let's go. Let's go.
I love 12330. The entire time I was just like ordering my new newly shipment for a trip that I have coming up. So I was looking at clothes. I feel like if you just distract yourself and you don't think about working out, it just goes by in the blink of an eye. I'm so glad I got that done. Can't you hear the Ready for the day, I put on one of my new basic tops. I ordered all of these clothes from Garage. It's my new favorite. Why am I not focused? Okay, one of my new favorite clothing companies. It's really fun because I feel like basics were what I was missing in my wardrobe to help me bring some other pieces together. Since I rent like literally all my clothes, there are some like other items that I thought were really cute that I've like kept from renting or just bought for whatever, but I'm never inspired to wear them because I don't have enough basics. Like what the heck? Anyways, we solved the problem. So look at my fit today. I am wearing this tiny little, it's very small. It just covers back here, so we're fine. Uh, Free People skirt, it's corduroy. I don't know if it's showing all the way, but I got it last fall and it's such a little like schoolgirl <laughs> skirt, but it's so freaking cute. And then these are Free Bird shoes. Love these, I got these back in 2020. So it's just fun to like piece a whole outfit together. Usually I don't think about it and I just like throw on a dress that I've rented or a jumpsuit or something, which I do prefer, but it's just, whatever. It's just fun to do some fashion. I am off to a coffee shop to work today. There's a new coffee shop nearby and Dream Away Doors just opened since it's September 1st. So I want to make some good like story graphics and really emphasize all that we have going on in Dream Away because it, there's so much, there's just so many resources. And I keep hearing from people that they have like no idea how much you get access to when you join. Like they join for the live events and they know that there's replays, but then they actually join and they're like, oh my gosh, like this is literally a treasure trove. So I want to just like fine tune the languaging to make that super evident. So let's go. You didn't act like a friend that night. Maybe that's why it felt so right. Do I really need to spell it out for you? So why? Why are you trying to hide your curiosity? When I know you call my name out in your sleep. Tell me, friend, can't you see? You're in love with me. I had to peace so bad and there wasn't a bathroom in there so I like raced home and was fighting for my life in the elevator to not like have an incident. Anyways, I made it. It's funny how like energy can sometimes thrust you out of a place because not only was that situation happening but the, the Wi-Fi stopped working. So we trust when we're guided like that. The universe wanted me to come home and, and keep working because we're, we're feeling very productive. You guys, I forgot to take my camera to dinner. I was gonna go out in New York City, it would have been so good. Basically, after I got some work done, I did an EFT session with one of my coaches, and the session ended up going way over one hour <laughs> because so much was coming up. I just feel like I'm in a season of my life where the deepest possible things to heal have been coming to the surface. I almost feel like it's from the morning pages, I'm not totally sure, but like deep, deep identity stuff. Anyways, in the session, there were even moments where I was like, my brain felt super blurry, and I was like, what are we even talking about anymore? All this to say, I'm very sleepy, very sleepy. Now, you know, it's a Friday night, it's not even 8 p.m. and I'm like, but time! <laughs> I had a good dinner though. I went to the Smith with one of my best friends and it's just like a cozy night to go to sleep. Good night, New York City. Look how beautiful. spend the whole day with Ankita. We're doing like a full New York City Saturday, so I'm very excited. I just got a spray tan, which is why I'm so dark, but it feels good and just had a chill morning getting everything done. We are going to do a few things today. We're gonna go to lunch. We're gonna go to the Natural Museum of History, which I've actually never been to, which is crazy. And then tonight we're going to this magic show that my other best friend, Liz, recommended wholeheartedly. She was like, what? I just picked up my filming light to pack it in my bag. What am I doing? 
I don't expect to film any life-changing TikToks while I'm out today, but you know, who knows? Anyways, Liz said this magic show was unreal. Like uh, one of those things is just like absolutely unbelievable. It's gonna be such a fun day. <laughs> Ankita got an Earl Grey latte with this new stuff called Not Milk. And, and it's basically like milk and pineapple mixed together. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually tastes pretty good. Oh, good. It doesn't look that good. You're concerned because look at all the chunks in it. So he said the reason it separates is because it's cabbage juice. Cabbage juice? Cabbage concentrate and. Oh, go with that. Okay, I was actually just being nice. Oh, I, okay. The truth comes out. Okay, okay, I'll be honest and say it actually doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes pretty good, but he made a couple of references to like how some people says it looks like a stomach virus, and I feel like it's the universe telling me that I need a no, That was a virus. really weird situation. We're in the Upper West Side, it's beautiful, and I feel like we should just try another coffee shop. Okay, let's see where the universe takes us now. My latte is amazing, but I just stuck to the old faithful of an iced vanilla oat milk. Latte. How is it? You want to try a sip? Yeah, is it good? Oh my god, that's really nice. Yeah! <laughs> All is well now. Now this is what I wanted, honestly. <laughs> We just went to the most unreal magic show ever. Speakeasy. It was crazy. It, I'm so mind blown. I can't even speak. It was no one of the craziest things I've ever experienced. It's not. It's not real. It's not like strategy. It's not technique. It's not something a magician can learn. It's like energy manifestation sorcery like it, it was, was really crazy the craziest it, i actually went in a skeptic so i want to tell you guys like i went a skeptic she was like oh it's gonna be so crazy blah, blah, blah. and i was like mm. bliss told me that she her mind was blown and i and she was so shook by it that i was like okay i've got to try it i was like oh Let's yeah share yeah one trick that blew okay. our minds so <laughs> i walked over a dog's tail oh, that was so, it was so cute was i very was like concerned. there's no way i'm gonna stand on his tail one thing is that they had me write my name all these magicians like kept coming around because we we're all sitting at tables had me write my name, my initials, and like my lucky number on my lucky card. They then put the card under my wine glass. She brings out this tiny little box, and she's like, okay, slowly take the lid off the top of the box. And my card that I'd written my initials and my lucky number on was folded into fours in this tiny box. It even was though really she had, crazy. I was watching her the entire time. It happened a split second later. So we if you think speechless. that's crazy, we were speechless. I was like, there's no that way. I still insane. have the card and it's like, still bent okay but ankita was part of the craziest trick that was, okay so this magician comes up to our table he has this deck of cards in front of him and he's like count 10 cards so i'm and i do it out loud count 10 10 10 cards from the deck into my hand i'm sitting down he's like put it underneath you so i like put it underneath like sit on top of it yeah like sit on top of it and so i put it underneath my right leg then he makes this other guy sitting on the table pick a card and sign his name put a number like in black sharpie okay and he's like i'm gonna make three more cars more than the additional 10 appear underneath you including this card that was signed by this guy at the table also a guest at the magic show he was like do you think we can do that and everyone was like no and then he's like ankita take out your, the cards from underneath your butt and so i take out <laughs> the cards from under my butt i count he's like count it all out count the cards of course there are 13 cards 13 instead of 10 now and he's like flip them over and the first card I flip over was a card that that guy across the table signed his name on so it somehow got underneath her Crazy and moment. then they did it one more time in your hand yeah and he yeah, was like okay now yeah. it's gonna be 16 cards and all he and Kate is just holding the cards in her hand she's holding on to them tightly like there's nothing that can happen and then all of a sudden there's 16 cards 
And then he's like, okay, I'm gonna make other cards go away. Yeah, that was really, that was insane. That, I can't, I don't, I think I don't even remember this, honestly, as you're talking about it, because. No, I think you I left can't. your body. I left my body. I Basically, left my body. Basically, he was like, I'm gonna make the cards disappear. So she's holding the cards in her hand. He puts his hand over her hands, and all the cards <laughs> disappear out of her hands. It all the cards, really crazy. 16 cards. I was like, oh, Kara! <laughs> So many times our entire table, and we all like bonded, we're, we're all strangers, shrieked all together. We were screaming out loud. Shrieked. Screaming. Like, yes, because it's like you can't even believe it, and it was so much fun. And there's no way, there's no, no way to there's get additional no way cards around underneath it. my butt. There's no way to make this, the cards disappear from my hands. Like I was holding them in front of everyone like this, like this, as if, as if this is how I was holding them. And you guys see my phone. It's as if you made the phone disappear. And the That's phone exactly was like, no, 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 no. And, and then, then just went away. And then the phone disappeared. That's literally what happened. We're doing a late night walk to get tea. We're being stared at by some people in the diner because we were being a little loud. Should we go here? Yeah, this looks beautiful. Okay, great. Girls. I'm salicin. Chamomile tea. Name that song. I surrender to the magic I cannot. I find solace in a cup of chamomile tea And I trust in the truth That everything works out for me